this is Talita, and today we're going to cover the Eaglesoft chart. So before we get going actually charting items, uh, let's take a peek at everything the chart module has to offer. Starting with the Adonogram itself, you can set it up for adult dentition, or you can also select all and change it to primary dentition. And you can also have mixed dentition. The letter I next to the tooth number indicates that there is an image attached to that tooth. Now that could be an intraoral picture, it could be a document uh, picture, it could be an x-ray, it just means that there is an image attached. And the letter N next to the tooth indicates there is a note attached to that tooth. On the middle and the bottom here, we have the ledger of the chart, and that is going to show everything that's been added to the chart module, whether it's been accepted, proposed, rejected, and we can even click on show what, which is going to let us choose what items we want to see in here. On the upper right hand corner, we have our quick pick buttons. And what the quick pick buttons are, basically they serve as shortcuts to the most commonly used codes. So the buttons themselves indicate the category of the codes that are in there. And when you click on the drop down menu, you're going to see the list of most commonly used codes in that category that are available through that button. You can also always click on service, which will allow you to access all the service codes in the database. From the chart module, you can also access the period charting and the clinical notes as well. So let's get started. On the bottom part of the screen, you have your status drop down menu. This is going to allow you to select the status of the items you're about to add to the chart. So this doesn't change what's already charted but it's only allowing us to change for what's to be charted. So we can select accepted, existing, proposed, referred, rejected, and we can also walk out procedures right from the chart. So let's say this is a new patient and we're starting with our clinical charting. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna chart all existing work that was done by a previous provider. So let's say, you know, this patient has all three of the third molars missing. So because three teeth are presented with the same condition, we can select all three at the same time. And then we can click on the condition, which will then allow us to chart the same condition for all three. So we would left mouse click on tooth number one, tooth number 16, tooth number 17. And on this case, we have a button here uh, for missing tooth. We're gonna left click on that button. And now all we need to do is hit okay. Now there is a difference between a missing tooth and a previously extracted tooth. And a lot of offices like to differentiate that. So in our case here, let's say that number 32 was actually extracted. So we're going to select tooth number 32 by left mouse clicking on it. And then we have a button here in our quick pick buttons section for oral surgery. We are going to click on the drop down menu because we're going to find a very specific procedure that we want to use. We're going to locate that procedure and we're going to left mouse click on it to select it and click OK to save. This patient presented with an amalgam filling on tooth number 19. So we're going to select the tooth by left mouse clicking on it. And on the quick pick buttons, we have a button specifically for amalgam fillings. We're going to click on that button. And here it gives us an opportunity to select which surfaces the filling was done on. So we're going to select mesial, occlusal, and distal. And click OK to save. This patient also presented with a resin filling on tooth number 20. So we're going to select the tooth. There is a quick pick button for posterior composite. We're going to click on the drop down to make sure that we can see all the options available. Select the procedure we want. Select the surfaces that that procedure has been done on and click OK to save. Now you'll notice that even though 19 and 20 have fillings, as we can see it in here in blue for existing procedures, 
we can't really differentiate whether it's an amalgam or a resin just by looking at it. So either you can look at your chart ledger and that will show which tooth has which procedure, or you can right mouse click on the tooth and look at the history and that will allow you to see exactly which procedure was done. This patient also presented with some caries. So we're going to select the teeth. We're going to click on the button that says decay and we're going to select the surfaces and click OK to save. Patient also presented with a crown on tooth number 30. However, we identified that there are open margins, so we are going to consider this crown defective, which then will allow us, once we propose a new crown, to have a history of the tooth so that we know why that crown needed replacing. Patient presented with an abscess on tooth number three. So we're gonna select the tooth and right here under missing tooth category, I could click on the drop down and find additional conditions. You can also click on the button that says condition and find that specific one. Click to select it and then click okay to save. So now let's say that we are done charting all our existing procedures and we are going to refer this patient for a root canal. Let's say that we don't do that in this office. So we're going to change the chart status to referred. Click back on tooth number three, and then we're gonna to go to our quick pick buttons. There is a button for RCT for root canal treatment. We're going to click on that. There's a box down here that's called Remarks for Unusual Services. Usually that's where we're gonna put our narrative for insurance, but because this procedure is being referred out, we're not gonna be using that box for that purpose. So what we could do in here instead is even type out the name of the doctor that we're referring this patient to, and then click OK to save. So now we know that there are some treatment items that we're going to recommend to this patient based on our clinical examination. So we're going to change the chart status to proposed, chart an MOD resin filling on 29, as well as for number 21. We're going to propose a core buildup and a crown on tooth number three for after the patient has a root canal treatment. So we're going to select the tooth, go here to our crown category, click on the drop down and find the core buildup code. Click on the tooth again to select one more time and then click on the crown code. So in this module, we learned how to add existing, proposed, and referred items to the patient's chart. We also learned how to check the history for each tooth. Next up is perio charting. See you soon.